Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday, Sunday morning? morning? What's going on, TQ? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. We did get some church in this morning via Facebook Live. Yeah, never thought that would happen in my life, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of firsts going on right now. Yeah, our pastor went live on Facebook this morning. He was nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was different, but nice. Yeah, they didn't do all, like, the singing and stuff. They're not really set up for all that, but... He said he's... maybe next time. Yeah, maybe next week he'll <laughs> sing us a song, but still a good, uh, good deal. We got some uh, spiritual healing in there and mm -hmm. some prayers, and, you know, that's what we need right now during this craziness time. Absolutely. But uh, our season officially kicks off tomorrow, guys. Cleanups will be starting... As long as the weather stays good. And I'll say it like this, there is a lot of rain in the forecast. But today the sun's shining, it's beautiful outside even though it's a little bit chilly. So with continuing on with making the property look a little bit better each day when we have the time, we need to get this mess cleaned up. Alright, so everything is soaking wet. So, kind of doing this unconventional. I know normally want to build a fire from the bottom up, but uh... Everything down there is saturated, soaking wet, and I'm not about to pull it all out of here. So I'm going to try to start a fire on top of the wet stuff. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get something going here in a minute. TQ's like, let's just throw gas on it. I'm like, <laughs> TQ, we can't do that. <laughs> Which we could, but I'd have to cut the film. <laughs> I'm going to rub two sticks together, and when you guys come back, we'll probably have a little bit bigger of a fire. Those two sticks are working Ooh. well. Great job, babe. Two sticks, man. Great job. Took a lot of effort, but I'll tell you what, the cavemen had it figured out. Did you break a sweat? I'll tell you what, my hands are raw. Good <laughs> dirt on. Good dirt on those TQ. Wow. Yeah. Wow, good job. Amazing. There's nothing like a sound of a fire. A controlled fire, I should say. A campfire. Soothing. Mm guys so like anything whenever you start a project uh i'll go ahead and just show you guys real quick i got him to do something else with it so long story short as usual we were going to burn all this wood because i thought all of it was pretty much rotten and pretty much gone but if you guys can see this stuff here let's walk back here tq i'll show you another piece that's flipped over so this is the wood and still in really good shape uh it's been hidden you know it's kind of weathered and you know this is what we originally kind of got it for and we got stacks of it here guys i mean stacks of it and what we were going to do is kind of like everybody's doing with the whole pallets we were just going to take the boards off because these only have three and then we were going to reuse the wood and kind of do like a what do they call it tq um like a rustic -y barn looking wall type yeah deal yeah exactly <laughs> Uh, you know, refinished. yeah, refinished Finish old barn looking. We were going to actually do it in the Fourier over here. And, uh, so I was just tired of looking at the stack and I'm like, nope, let's just burn it. Let's get rid of it. Take it to the dump, whatever. And then we start pulling it out and we start seeing that natural beauty in the wood. And it, uh, and I think we probably would have gotten cussed out by a lot of you too. If we would have started burning this and be like, I would have taken that off your hand. I would have taken that off your hand. But yeah. it's like, we want to refinish our bedroom. So I think we might go this route with it. And this is, I mean, guys, you got, if you look at this, this is just beautiful wood. And I hate to burn it. I'm not going to burn it. 
because it's nice. Yeah. <sighs> I wanted to burn it though, TQ. Sorry. Because I'm tired of looking at it. I mean, we have plenty of other stuff to clean up around here. What you got there? I got you a new chainsaw, TQ. Uh, what what brand is it? I don't know, but it's farm fresh right off the old side of the road. I didn't look Wood at it. Wood shark, huh? It was sitting next to the garbage and it said free. So I was like, you know what? I wonder if we can get it to run. I haven't even touched it whatsoever, so. <laughs> a little bit too much. <laughs> that thing's got a small gas tank. Yeah, it does. Holy moly. Kind of dang, oh, yeah. flip it's, it up, flip it's, it up. It's getting a cleaning too. Gee. I'll have to clean that up. <laughs> Making messes around here today. So just getting some of the dirt off of it with that gas while we made a mess already. And yeah, I got some more down there cleaning them up. But uh, this is my color green, so I, I think we're going to get it to run. What do you think, TQ? Hope so. It doesn't have a nipple. I don't think. So you can't milk a chainsaw. Okay, so it says <laughs> on is there, stop is there. So, uh. Go ahead and just step back. I'm going to back bit, up just TQ. a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This thing is hard to pull. All right. Not getting a fire. So I'm going to see about getting a spark plug out and see if we can clean it and maybe get a fire there. All right. So the spark plug, I believe, is under this cap. And guys, we just got news that. Ohio and Louisiana have just got orders that we have to be under a stay-at-home effective tomorrow night. Uh, I know at the beginning of this video we told you guys that we were going to be kicking our season off tomorrow. And that was the plan. But uh, like everything, plans change, I guess, right? We'll get through it regardless. It just kind of sucks. It's bad timing. And I was kind of hoping we would uh, avoid that situation. But uh, we all just got to stay level-headed. It is serious. It is deadly. Uh, but we will get through this as Americans, as the, the world, because this is affecting the world. We will get through it regardless. Uh, we as human beings naturally have it in our DNA to survive, guys. And uh, yeah, I don't see a spark plug under there, so it's got to be up under here, right? Ew. Eww. Well, that might be why. Maybe somebody had a little lack of maintenance. Might have to take that apart too. There might be a filter inside of there. Oops, oh, sorry. sorry. Got a little too close. I'm gonna see though. It looks like the mechanics are all working. Hmm. All right. So we actually found the spark plug. It's behind the exhaust in here, underneath where the uh, muffler cover is. So it's back in here. So uh, we'll come back in one second and see how it looks. Jeez, you cut yourself again. It happens. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and check it out. I might go ahead and take that apart too and see how the arrestor looks. Doesn't look like a very old spark plug. What do you think it's going to look like? It's going to be black? I don't know, probably. It's not horrible. Not horrible. I've seen worse. All right, so got a brand new spark plug. Gonna go ahead and throw it in real quick. I'll bring you back here in a second as soon as I get it all together and we'll see if we can get this bad boy to fire. We're actually gonna burn the resin off of here. If you can pick that up or not. Probably wasting my time, but we'll see. I mean, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it was free, right? Mm-hmm. We clean the arrestor, new spark plug, put new fuel in it. That's about the end of my capabilities without like ripping apart the fuel system. I'm not even sure if the fuel line's getting fuel in it. I felt it's pretty brittle. It's pretty hard, so it uh, might not even be getting fuel. So. so it's saying I'm supposed to hold the fuel down and I'm supposed to do a push and pull. Left hand is not my dominant hand. <laughs> Hold 
rear handle firmly with right hand. Squeeze and hold throttle trigger until engine starts. Grip starter rope handle with left hand, then simulate, simultaneously push all away with right hand. This is called the push pull. I'm tired. I've been messing with this thing a little too long. I'm not going to give up just yet, but I also don't want to be dumb and uh, accidentally hurt myself. So, All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Currently, as of this video dropping at 731 Eastern Standard Time, Monday, we have been under stay-at-home orders since, what, 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. We're going to stay home as much as possible. Uh, the way we understand it as of now, we are considered an essential business, mm -hmm. so we are able to still do lawn care. Uh, we haven't heard yet about the landscaping. Uh, honestly, we haven't even heard 100% about the lawn care, but it's what we're being told from others. So. I told others if we're out working and we get pulled over, we'll really find out if we're supposed to be out or not. <laughs> yeah, exactly, guys. Check your local law. Stay safe. And as always, keep mowing. Keep growing. Keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye.